Assalamu alaikum. Um, my name is Suleiman Yunus Muhammad. I'm from Nigeria. And I'm sorry I'm going to speak in English. Is it okay? Fine. Um, actually, uh, I was, I, I know some of you will be curious to know why I changed my career from computer education into medical education. This is something that uh, I really thought that if I did, I think I will help people better in a better way or in a corrective manner that I will do, that I won't do when I am in the computer uh, education. When I was in the, I started my education in computer education in Nigeria. It's, uh, it was a branch of one of the Singaporean university in Nigeria. I graduated uh, from that college in the 2009. So before before that, I used to go to I used to go to the uh, to the hospitals, public health hospitals, to greet the patients, the, the people that uh, they are not feeling fine. So each time I went to the hospital, I used to find out like found something very very strange from the doctors. So this always, all the time when I get to the hospital, I used to feel like, so what am I doing? Or what the rest of the people are doing now? If this is a human being like me, he was standing and he was walking, although he was walking, he was doing everything normal, but now he got infected, he has a disease. Now he's in the hospital, he's in the bed, he's he, he don't know like how he is, uh, he don't know how to do anything or something normally uh, like the normal people, human beings are doing, you know. So this always strikes my mind. There was a time I can remember that I went to the hospital and I found out something very exclusive. There was a man, he got an accident over a week. He has a fracture in his hand, and he has another fracture in his lap. He spent one week, good one week, without, without dressing properly, without correcting all this. this I saw this in the in emergency uh, ward. So this one makes me nearly, like, I nearly cry that time. So I began to think of how can I change my career from this computer education into the medical. I really want to become a medical doctor. So when I, 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 I don't know how to confront my parents or my friends to tell them that I'm going to change from uh, com this computing into the medicine because a lot of my friends, they, defend, they, they defended on me. That time we were take, uh, carrying out a project. We tried to Net, uh, make a, create a network into the school because we, are not, we were not having a network, a good network. So I was the person that created that idea of networking the school and, uh, entirely, the hostels. So I went and I told my friend that I think uh, when we finish this project, I'm going to seek another admission into the medical college. Everyone was, they freaked out. Everyone was so surprised. What are you going to do in the, in this, uh, uh, in, the, in the medical college? You will change nothing in Nigeria. We, in Nigeria, we have 150 million people. We double the number of the few Egyptian people. So they said, you cannot change anything in this, in this system. But I believe I will do. So I, I talk about this with my friend and do the alhamdulillah they all agreed and I began to search about the schools and finally I got to the school here in Alexandria University Faculty of Medicine. So after I started this college, I felt like there is great and tremendous challenge in front of me. It's like I was going this way and now I changed directly into this way. So I found it is going to be a great challenge. And in order to be an effective doctor, 
you need to be you need to be 100% uh, focused and you need to be 100% creative in what uh, in whatever you are doing and if you want to change something in the world you have to be uh, like you have to change from the people you have to be you, you have to ex exclude yourself from among the people that you are so this makes me to think of getting uh, everything from the beginning i took so many lectures in in cairo i used to go uh, with my friend we used to go to we used to go to cairo to take lectures we finish if we finish lectures from here in in the college at for sometimes at two o'clock, sometimes at three o'clock, we used to live here. For, we used to live here for Cairo. Sometimes we finish the lectures in Cairo at ten o'clock, and at eleven o'clock we used to leave Cairo for Alexandria. But this is really uh, something dramatic uh, used to happen with us. Actually, here in Egypt, like when you are a foreigner. The taxi drivers and the people when you go to where, like when you want to buy something, they double the amount or maybe uh, give something, added something on top of the normal price for you, which is totally wrong. I don't like that. So sometimes uh, I, I can tell you a little story of what had happened once, but it uh, a lot of things happen like that with us. Uh, we uh, we 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 finished the lectures in Cairo at. I think 10 10 30 and we were not having them enough money that will bring uh, take us back to Alexandria that time uh, we, it was during the winter it was very cold outside we were wearing jacket but still it was like we are not wearing anything uh, we are not like we are not wearing anything it is very very uh, cold we get, we managed we managed to get the we managed to get the the bus from Cairo to Mokif Hina and we 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 we, we don't ha we we don't have money that taxi money that we will it will take us to the home. I was talking to my friend. The person that is like sitting beside you here, you will not see him due to the weather. It was very cold. If I was talking to my friend, what are we doing? He said. You promise that you want to bring a change, but if you want to uh, bring a change in anything, you have to be different from others. You have to be ready to take every difficulties that you will fast through it. This is this is something that this is something that a lot of people they won't uh, like. They, 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 on this process, you will feel like you have to give off, but. Whatever you are going through, whatever, whatever the condition it is, you have to keep on going. You have to, you don't need to, uh, like, re leave the reality and face the unreality. I believe that nobody, no, none of us here knows about the future. But I believe that you can create your future. Alexandria here, I found out that a lot of students, they are very and well talented students. You, uh, God gives you the, uh, a very good brain that you memorize everything very easily. So I want to give you two to three advice. Please try to use this brain that you have to create something. We started, uh, this event started in the morning uh, from uh, today. A lot of speakers has, have spoken about so many things, but if you come here and just listen to the people, the, the speakers, and leave everything here, it's like you wasted your time. I want to urge you, urge you to not leave whatever you heard. Try to pick up something, at least one or two things that you heard. Take it back to home. Try to put it in your life. Success, it is not something that you will get when you are sleeping. Now, for example, by raising hand, which, who among you wants to be like, uh, like Steve Jobs or Bill Gates or any prominent person by raising hand? A lot, a lot of people want to be. What are you trying? What are you making towards building your career towards that path? Do you think that 
they were sleeping when they thought about all the ideas of creating iPad, iPhone, all these mobiles and like the windows. It is not. They went through so many difficulties. They, enc they have encountered a lot of difficulties. Your name will not be sound if you as if you are sleeping at home. Our life is within the cycle. We go to the college, we sit with our friends after the, after the lectures, we, we, we talk and talk. Sometimes we don't concentrate more in the lecture, but we, after the lecture, you come out, you go back home, and when your mom is at home, you say, Mama is the, Mama is the. You have to, you, you, just, you just need to defend on yourself. Don't always defend on somebody. Don't feel that or think any moment that someone will help you if you really want to bring or change something in the life of the people. Try as much as you can to build your own future. If you went to the college, try to seek, try to seek or try to get involved in uh, getting some certificates, like taking some courses, Utilize your, utilize your, your summer time. Don't depend on going to the vocation on this. It will never help you. Try to suffer now. You will enjoy later on. That is why now you are hearing that uh, Bill Gates is the is the is a is a billionaire or something. If you go, if you can went through his life, he went through so many difficulties in his life. He encountered a lot of uh, difficulties. So try to, be, to bring something in your life. Try to change the other's life. If people don't laugh at your dream, you are not doing anything. Let us try to make our parents happy. Let us try to make our parents proud of us. We all, our parents live and give us the best and qualitative education that they think when you grow up, you are going to be someone. You are going to make them proud. So let us try to use this chance to make them proud. And lastly, I would like to give you uh, the, uh, this advice. like Be flexible in whatever you are doing. Don't feel laziness because laziness won't give you anything in this life. Laziness will always downgrade you. If you are going through this path and you believe that it is going to be something, it, will, it is going to help you, keep on going. Don't allow others to, in, to interrupt you. Just keep on going and always try to seek advice from the people that they have already reached the top. Try to ask your parent and try to obey, especially the two parents. If you, if you are failing in your path, come back to your parent. Seek for their prayers because if your mom prays for you, it will directly be accepted and you will see more success in your life. And last but not the least, I would like to thank you all for listening to me and the rest of the audience and the rest of the speakers. Thank you. <laughs>